Baltimore is home to more than 155 of the most talented artists from all over the country this week, chosen to participate in Young Arts Week. It's a week of master classes, exhibitions, performances, and life-changing experiences for high school students. CBS 4's Lisa Petrillo has a look behind the scenes. Welcome to warm-up and rehearsals here at the Miami City Ballet this Wednesday morning. Last-minute prep for a performance at the New World Center. These students, who range in age from 15 to 18, are just some of the 159 finalists chosen from thousands of applicants to participate in National Young Arts Week, now in its 38th year. Young Arts Week is about taking the most accomplished young artists from around the nation in 10 disciplines in literary, performance, and visual arts and bringing them to Miami for master classes, performances at New World, visual arts exhibition here on campus. And I wanted to make something that uh worked with space that was really dense and also really open. Blake Rogers is a senior from Dallas, Texas. His wood furniture meets art piece he calls Matrix is on display at the gallery, among many other works of art inside the Young Arts headquarters off Biscayne Boulevard. What are you learning this week? So this week uh, I'm learning about all different types of design, so not just furniture design, but fashion design, graphic design. I'm also being able to like watch great performances and dance and theater, classical music, so it's really just a whole great artistic experience. Chat Travieso, who's now a master class teacher in the visual arts, is a Young Arts alumni. Even 15 years ago it was such a transformative week. You get to meet so many artists, young people who are doing similar things from all across the country and to this day, you know, they've been continuing that tradition every year. This is the plastic. Oh, so this one. Right. This one can go onto wood. Tommy Walton teaches students visual arts, including fashion design and the business behind it. How to brand yourself and how to communicate your form of art to a wide variety of people. Joey is a senior from Indiana who wants to be a graphic designer. I designed a fictional dim sum restaurant uh -huh. and I created and branded all the little parts of a restaurant. So I made a logo, um, I made takeout box design. So cute. Every night this week, audiences can experience the work of the next generation of artists through performances in South Florida and for the students it's a moment to shine in a field they were born to be a part of. Young Arts Week culminates with a big gala this Saturday night but this gallery opens right now on Friday and is on through February 3rd so you can check it out yourself. For more on the performances being held this week log on to their website at youngarts.org or our website at cbsmiami.com. I'm Lisa Petrillo, CBS 4 News. So cool to hear from these young artists, and these types of experiences really can be life changing for yes, them. Yes, so much talent at such a young age, yes. and it's great that they're tapping into they're it. They're harnessing at this it time. already. Yeah, absolutely.